I have to scoot back so you can see how cool this shirt is. I absolutely love it. And it's one of those shirts that whenever I wear it, I'm like, why don't I wear this more often? I don't know. Excuse me. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? <laughs> what's up in YouTube land? It's good to see you today. Guess what? We have an art video. I know, right? Are you ready for this? Because I am. Let's see. Tritone pencils. Yes, we're going to talk about these today and we're going to swatch them. And if you're wondering why there's a separate swatch video versus the full review, which will come in the future, the reason is, is because this particular pencil, let me see if I can get a, a good example. These, these particular pencils have three. It actually looks like my shirt and I didn't even mean to do that. But <laughs> it, there are three colors to each pencil. So each one is like having three pencils in and of itself so that it can create more depth versus just a regular colored pencil set. So I'm going to be swatching these today and I'm going to be giving my commentary on each one and how they swatched. So if that sounds like fun for you, just keep on watching. If you are new here, hello, my name is Jane. I'm a fine artist who also loves makeup specifically eyeshadows and really colorful eyeshadows and colorful things. So if that sounds like it's fun for you, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Make sure that the bell notification is turned on so that you know whenever I upload. And also, if you are a current subscriber, try unsubscribing and resubscribing because for whatever reason, YouTube and its weirdness and technology and its weirdness have decided to unsubscribe people without them knowing. So you may actually be unsubscribed when you were previously subscribed so I don't know what's going on. It's, it is what it is. So just make sure you're subscribed if you were, and if you aren't, then I hope you will be. Okay, I'm going to roll this wonderful retro intro and I will see you at the art desk, okay? Take it away. <laughs> Oh, well, hello, my beautiful friends. It is good to see you today, even though I can't see you. <laughs> um, I've got the Koinor Tritone Pencils, and Koinor actually sent these to me. And I I had posted something to Instagram. Um, I'll put a picture up here. But I have my own set of Koinor Tritone Pencils, so I have some experience with them. But I would like to – I feel like these need a separate video for the swatches. And I may have mentioned that earlier, but – we're going to go ahead and swatch them. I'm going to try and I'm going to show half of it swatched in the other half of each of these boxes. I'm going to blend the colors so that you can see them when they're blended and you can see them as they as they perform whenever you just lay the color down. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to try and use some of the ones that I have first and then I'll use the newer ones for a finished piece. If you hear everything in the background right now, there is, it's really nice outside, but it's a little windy and I decided to go ahead and open up the garage door because it's just, I've been cooped up all winter and I, I'm just done with it. So, okay, let's start out with, oh, I'm going into the new one. I'm contradicting myself. It's going to, into this one called Daffodil. It's got three different ranges of yellows, light yellows, I should say. I feel like this may not, I don't know if it's going to show the differences or not, just because it's, it's lighter values. Sounds like somebody's out playing basketball today. So this one is Desert Yellow. It's got kind of a range of just a primary yellow. We got a little bit of a pale yellow, and then we have, looks like a, like a yellow ochre. And as I'm swatching these, I'm turning the pencil so that you can see the different values, hopefully. 
I think that the values will become more prominent in the deeper shades. That's just my educated guess or uneducated guess. <laughs> Okay, so this one's Matagold, and it looks very, very similar to, on the, like, on these stripes right here. It looks exactly the same as Desert Yellow, but if you look, hold on, let me see if I can focus. Okay, so if you look, the Matagold has a little bit more of that yellow ochre, so we're going to go ahead and swatch that. I think this is going to be probably when we see start to see a little bit more contrast between the colors. I'm going to try some different techniques rather than just small circles just to see if it makes any difference. Okay, this one's called Citrus, and it's got kind of a, basically it goes from orange to peach to like a vanilla color. It's a nice fiery orange. We didn't see much of this shade right here, but I can see the depth in it. Okay, let's check out Flame. It is your kind of traditional yellowy color to orange and a peach in the middle. Oh no. Okay, so a lighter shade of orange. I feel like that because it's so so much of a gradient, it's not really giving a lot of variations. But I think the reason the the whole idea of the flame pencil, this is what it's called, I think it's it's more for fiery shades. I think this color would be great for red hair. So let's move on. Um, this is my favorite shade. It is called sunset. It's got yellow, pink, and red. The idea behind this is not to create realism in, in the sketch or in the swatches, but to show you the nuances, see how they perform. So far, they're laying down very nicely. No, no scratchiness or anything like that. Ooh, it's like we caught two of the colors here. That's beautiful. It is my favorite pencil of this set, but it's been a while since I've seen it. <laughs> 
so pretty. Okay, so it turns out a little bit more red, but I use this for hair in my drawing, and I feel like it just, here's the thing, swatches only tell part of the story. So when once we blend these, it looks, I think there, there will be more variations as we go, but you can see that it does look different, like throughout, like there is depth there. I don't know how well these will continue to swatch to give a better representation of what they can do. I think it's going to have to be during the demo and during the artwork being produced. Okay, so starting with the second row, we've got Poppy. It is a beautiful orange to red gradient. So let's get started. You know, these lay down so smoothly, and I almost feel like you wouldn't necessarily have to have your blender when using them. <laughs> you just layer them because of their depth. Okay, let's see here. Let us continue with Ember. So we got a orange, red, and black. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so yeah, that was Ember. And you can, oh, car, you can really see the variations in the shade in the swatch. You can obviously see, you don't see as much of the orange, at least in my swatch. That may change as, you know, time goes on. But I really enjoy how with the variations have more contrast than the others. I really like that you can kind of look at the tip here and find which colors are which so you can kind of have more control on how you know the pigment gets dispersed so whenever i wanted more orange i would kind of turn it look at it and then if i needed more black i'd turn and look at it and red so and so on so we're going to go ahead and keep on going with spanish night and this one has purple red and black Okay, what an interesting color. Spanish Night. Hmm. I think these would be great shadow colors, either on a portrait or in a landscape. Yeah. So we got this one here. This is interesting. This is Volcano. And we have kind of a, well, it looks like a volcano. I mean, you've got, you've got the elements of fire and you've got ash. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I don't see hardly any of the gray, at least in my application of this and how I uh, swatched it. However, it might look different in a finished piece, but I don't know. I just see more of the red and the orange. I think because those are the dominant colors 
over gray. So this one's called Blush, and it looks like it has sort of a, um, a fair skin tone color here, and then we have a pink and then a more purpley color. It almost appears lilac on the, on the tip here. Yeah, so this pulled more pink than anything else. I need to blend it. I don't see much of the lilac color. I see more of the mid-tone. This would definitely, definitely be a good skin tone for someone who's fair and has more pink undertones. So I got a feeling as I'm swatching these, I get a feeling that like the dominant color is going to be the middle tone because it kind of seems that way. Although I can't say that about this one because this one had more red than pink or yellow. Okay, this one is violets and we have pink, blue, and purple. Oh, wrong box. <laughs> Okay, so violets, definitely a lovely color for flowers, hence the name. This one actually swatched a little bit better than some of the others in terms of seeing, being able to see the differentiation, like differentiations, the variations in color. I did pick up more on the pink too, and I think, I just think it's going to be based on each pencil from from here on. I mean, there are some that swatch and you can see the variations in color a lot better than some of the other ones or like these two yeah okay let's keep going Ooh, i'm very interested in this one this is called evening storm so we've got this sort of maroon color we've got a gray and we have a grayish blue here look at that isn't that pretty and that is the second row <laughs> it's so windy outside today but the sun's out. It's very beautiful. Ooh. Got more of that blue in there. There's more of the red. Let's see if I can turn this. Oh, nice. Okay, I can definitely tell that all three colors are in there. Definitely not as much blue, but there are some here. I feel like, I don't know, I'm starting to think that, that these, even though they have a specific look when blended, I feel like they almost show most of the color if they are left alone. It just depends on what you're going for, really, but I... I actually like it whenever I can see all three colors, but you can definitely tell the dynamic difference of variation in color with this shade versus like this or that. Yeah, they're all pretty cool so far. Let's move on to the light blues and this one's called Summer Sky. I like this one. It's kind of a nice variation of pastel blue to sort of a, um, a cerulean blue almost. All right, friends, we're going into Twilight, the pencil, not the movie, thankfully. So we've got navy and indigo here, at least from what I can tell. So I'm going to guess this is going to be nothing but dark blue in variations. So it looks like Twilight is not quite that dark, at least from my swatch, but that may change if I use it in the future. So it looks more kind of like, you know how, it looks like a phthalo blue more than anything. 
So that's interesting. So this is fun. This is called tropical. Look at how pretty that is. Look. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and so watch it. We've got yellow. We've got sort of a mid-tone bluish green turquoise. And then we've got, I don't know, you see it. You interpret it. My brain's not functioning correctly right now, I don't think. Okay, I do apologize. My battery died. Yay. So I'm going to show you guys how cool is this. I mean, I feel like this is the most interesting one so far. And even though it does come together and bring more green to the whole situation, you could clearly see as I was sketching it or swatching it out that, you know, it does pull in all three colors. So to me, that's pretty awesome. And so I'm going to start with the next one. What do you guys think so far? I'm very curious to hear your thoughts and opinions. So let's try out this one. It's a meadow. It just goes from yellow to dark. Well, it's essentially like a mid-tone green. So I expect this to kind of turn out to be lime. All right, so this is the epitome of like lemon lime soda. So I kind of like that actually. And you can tell that there's some depth there. I accidentally started to kind of blend more than just a half because my brain's tired, but <laughs> essentially I like this color. It's pretty. And we're going to get into the more mm, just kind of primary greens, basically the yellow greens. And then the next one after that is it's called rainforest. And this is definitely like your leaf greens and forest is kind of your forest green. So I like that. So forest and rainforest. Okay, so the tip had broken off because I'm heavy handed. And um, I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but I can see more of the variations right away. Okay, so I messed it up. This, this was supposed to be first the forest, and then this is supposed to be second, which is rainforest. So I'll just go ahead and put forest down here in the fourth row. So we kind of have more primary green here, more of like a kiwi color. And so I think that's it for the greens. And they're very pretty. Very, very pretty. I'm trying to make sure that I got everything in order. This one is called Tiger and it is one of my favorites. It reminds me of shag carpeting because we have this very 70s trio of colors together. And you can see it does look very, very tiger-like. There we go. So it is, mm, of course, kind of an orangey brown. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> but I do like it. So we've got two more colors. We have the earth tones and we have, I think this is, what is this called? Metal. Okay, so here are all the swatches. What do we think? I mean, they look very, very interesting. And what I like about it is that there are variations that have more contrast, obviously, like these and this one, but there are also still primaries that can still 
interact with other primaries so that you don't have completely muddy colors. So that actually is very, very beneficial to creating a finished piece. And I may do like a sketch or something like that. I, I call sketches finished pieces whenever it comes to colored pencils usually, but and that's probably what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to, you know, create anything super large or anything because I have other, I have other projects, <laughs> and so, but I want to get to know this in practical application too, so that I can give you a better review. So that's what we're going to do next, and I will take it back to outro, Jane. All right, guys, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed the video and got some insight into what they look like and how they swatched, and. <sighs> I've got to, I gotta be honest, whenever I was editing it, it was fast, but it was kind of boring because <laughs> it's just swatches, but I think that swatches are fun to watch. They're not the best to edit though. You don't, you didn't come here for this, but anyways, guys, I will be addressing some things in a future video. It, it will be an art video, but I'm going to be kind of talking to you about the makeup and the art and the future of this channel and I'm going to be making some tweaks but I'm going to be have some I'm going to have some very very exciting announcements very soon so be on the lookout for that and make sure that you have a wonderful day and be kind to people and stay safe out there I love you and I'll talk to you next time bye